uh, let's move to the first method press windows and s to open search and search r e g e d i t okay reject it in the windows 10 search box now click on registry editor to open registry editor now once you go to the registry editor you have to go to this path h key local machines system current control set control class and this okay i pasted this whole path in the description of the video given below you can directly copy this path and then just after computer and forward slash you just paste this path okay and hit enter and you will reach here now once you reach at this location and the left menu on the right side just locate default key just double click on it and put the value data as keyboard okay now click on okay and now in the right side also find upper filters if there is no upper filters right click on it choose new create a multi string value and then name this value as upper filters okay just name this value as upper filters now double click on it and put the value at kvd class okay just put this value kvd class now click on okay and close it and close the registrator and see your problem is fixed or not if this is not fixed let's move to method 2 just search services in the windows 10 search box now click on services now find Toshiba optical disk drive service okay just find the service it's not in my list but find the service double click on that service okay choose startup type as disabled and click on stop for that service okay just choose startup type as disabled click on stop after that click on apply and click on okay for Toshiba service okay this also fixes the problem in most of the cases if this does not fix the problem there is one more thing which you can do that is search device manager to open device manager again open the device manager now what you have to do is to just double click on keyboards and just right click on that keyboard click on update driver click on browse my computer for driving software click on let me pick from a list of available driver and now choose a different set of driver if there is only one just choose that only and click on next it will reinstall the basic default driver on your device and this also fixes the issue in most of the cases so that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek food